Hi, welcome. I'm going to show you a couple of cool techniques that I've been playing around with. Uh, there's um, just some cool looks that I've been trying to experiment with as far as high key shots are concerned. And um, I just want to tell you a little story about this image here. This little girl, I had photographed her mom and dad three years ago, which is also something that happens a lot in my studio. Got a lot of repeat clients, and that's a good thing. But what's really important about this particular little girl is that the mom and dad just opened up a high end children's furniture store in a great high visibility mall in a great area in our city. So, this was the 12 month session of the baby's, baby's first year wall panel, and I had um, proposed a few ideas to the mom, and I showed her what I'm going to show you and that is some really cool new effects uh, particularly with high key images which this one is and I, I'm sure you could probably do a variation with low key images or anything of that nature uh, with other images but my initial thought was high key. Now let me just show you what I'm going to do. When I'm working my images to show as proofs in the studio I uh, have an action and on my keyboard it's F6 and as you can see here from the history palette it's nothing more than increasing the saturation to uh, plus 15 this is the defog this is auto contrast this is fade auto contrast just to bring it back a little bit and it sharpens it a little bit and adds a little bit of noise it's just a quick and dirty workflow it's not our main workflow that we use on our final images that go to final output to the lab it's just to show our clients when we're selling now the next thing I'm going to do, and I have an action for this, but I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step method. That is I'm going to duplicate the layer, go to the top layer, go to screen mode. And as you can tell, it lightens up the image quite a bit. Now you can go in there and decrease that a little bit if you want. Now we're going to go to flatten the image. Now the next step, I'm going to fire off the Contrasoft. Now, the Contrasoft, as it comes with uh, from your NoBS uh, bundle, could be uh, a little bit different than what I'm going to show you because I've modified mine. I've taken out those pop-up menus to save time, and uh, I've set the settings so that when I fire it, that's what I get. And uh, it doesn't really allow me a variation, or it doesn't remind me of any of the steps. But I can go in to the layers and adjust it because I know that, and I've become very familiar with the Contrasoft, which is one of my favorite actions. Now let me show you the final product, because what I had done was I had taken the crop tool, and I cropped it square. And this is what I showed her. Look at that cool, unusual cropping. I put a little pinstripe, of which I had taken with my color picker from the little girl's top, and I put a white canvas all around it. Very, very simple. When I showed this to the mom, she got very excited and I said, this is a style of photography I would like to highlight in your store. And of course, we can start with your little girl. And uh, so she's in. I mean, I'm going to end up with a priceless display. And uh, she's already excited because she's seen the proof in the pudding. It took me literally 10 seconds to produce this sample image to show her. Okay, it's a low resolution proof. Remember, like I reminded you, it's just for selling. However, the idea is what gets across, and as you can see, it's very different, very unusual. Um, you know, with the square, and we got the cropping off to the side here. A lot of grandparents would probably be offended by that. However, um, you know, I always preemptively tell my clients, you know, if you like it, trust your heart, trust your first reaction. Don't overanalyze. Don't use your left brain, analytical brain, to make a final decision on this. If you like it instantly, that's your heart speaking. So. Anyways, that's the, um, that's the look I'm talking about, and that's really all it is, is just duplicate that layer and run the uh, conch off and try some unusual cropping. So, Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that, and you can see some of the other images in the post which show you before and afters to uh, get that point across. Thank you.